Let's kick it Got off. Got it. Kyle Collins, yep. Jane Slater, friend of the show, NFL Network extraordinaire, broke the news this weekend that Lyle Collins is expected to undergo surgery for what we are thinking is a hip injury. And that means he could be out for the year. Big deal or no big deal, Dave? Let me do my favorite thing and talk out of both sides of my mouth. It's obviously a big deal when you're starting right tackle who played at a Pro Bowl level is, you know, he's headed for hip surgery. He's going to be out probably for the year at the very least for a long time. It's a big deal. And yet at the same time, I feel okay. I feel okay because of a, a bully of a guy by the name of Brandon Knight, who I think has really risen to the occasion Evan, as an undrafted free agent. He's had to step in for Lyell on multiple occasions in the two seasons that he's been here, and he's handled his stuff. He comes in yesterday in the middle of the game, we'll get to that, and he handled things well. He helped limit Miles Garrett after Garrett got off to an amazing start. So I feel okay that Lyle Collins can't play, but Kelsey, is it a big deal or no big deal that the guy that played ahead of Brandon Knight, Terrence Steele, not to mention Darian Thompson, were both yanked before halftime of this game. That's how short their leashes were. Is that a big deal or not a big deal? I mean, I guess I'm confused as to why they were even out there to start. Um, I think we knew from the get-go that this Terrence Steele matchup, it's no disrespect, but I don't think he's ready. And when you have a guy like Miles Garrett, who's capable of playing both sides of the line, and Tyron Smith is back in the game, you know where he's going to be facing. He's not going to go against the all-pro, pro bowler, man of a wall, who literally, even at 50%, is probably better than most. Um, he's going to attack your weakness, and the weakness was Terrence Steele, and he was right in doing so. I just was confused as to why that was even a decision that was made to put him out there in such an unfavorable matchup to begin with. So. It was a big deal to me, and I'm kind of concerned. It bothers me that I'm continuing to talk on all of my shows about how this offensive line is troubling. That's just not a narrative that I want to continue to repeat. 